Hey guys, uh, got something special I want to show you today. <clears throat> I want to show you the critter getter. <laughs> all right, so all you gun guys, you look at this and you go, oh, that's a Ruger 1022. No, <laughs> it is not. It's based on a Ruger 1022, but this is a Taxol X Ring. 22 semi automatic. It uses the same Ruger magazine. The setup's the same, but it is different. It's uh, a machined aluminum receiver and it's got a 20 MOA uh, base on it, machined into it. And so you never have to worry about that breaking off. It's got this super cool aluminum uh, fluted barrel that you can't really see it probably but it's got a uh, <clears throat> chrome line liner in, in it and it's got a match chamber so it's pretty accurate <clears throat> it's got this little which i don't know that i like this too much or at least you have to get used to it because if you hit that quick release it will release in the middle of battle now, so, and, and it's very short, very light. It's got a hog over molded stock. I put this uh, cheek rest on. I'm a big, big believer in cheek rest because uh, it lines your eye exactly when you put it up, your eyes straight in the stock, in the scope. <clears throat> and so this is a weird uh, scope on here because it's a, uh, <clears throat> one to ten, which is really unusual in us a first focal plane. Uh, I'm still trying to decide whether I like it or not. And of course, it's got your target turrets, which I really like. <laughs> I'm kind of big on clicks and not just holdover. And I'm not going to show you. You can't see it, but inside it's got MOA adjustments and the whole nine yards. Now, the reason I like this so much is it's so light. I can set it on the console of my truck and ride around getting critters. So this is the critter getter. So a critter is basically anything that needs killing. Makes sense. Anything that's legal that needs killing. <laughs> and so possums and uh, coons and especially around here armadillos and, and so i like to ride with this just in my truck because you never know when a critter is going to jump out on you and need to kill it and so <clears throat> this one's also set up kind of for long range and the long range on a 22 uh, would be in my book anything 150 and beyond so 100 not much to that 150 gets a good bit. Uh, I actually worked on shooting prairie dogs with this uh, in the 2 to 250 range, but I didn't do too good with it. But it, it will do it. And 22s in my book are out to about 300 yards with a special gun and special scopes and a special setup. So, cool little gun. It's, it's an expensive gun. I think it's a little expensive for what you get, but it's hard to get anything else that's like this. I wish the barrel was a little bit shorter, but it's nice. I mean, it fits good. Of course, it's threaded for a suppressor, which I don't have. Uh, the only scary part about this gun is if you're in the, in the truck and you side out the window, your mirror ends up being right here. And so if you're not careful, you're going to shoot your mirror out because you're looking over the top of the mirror and the, the little short barrel is stuck right into the to the mirror and boom, there you go. Your mirror's gone. I hadn't done that, but it scared me a couple of times. You know, a gun's no good if you can't hit anything with it. Fruit. So we thought we'd see if I can hit anything with it, which I'm not saying I can. This is the critter gear. Uh, so we're going to do a little shooting, and then I wanted to show you a couple other things today. And uh, if you'll notice, 
of course, this, this is the one that's so short and light and all that, I can just set it up on the console of my truck, ride around with it, but you, you notice the, the bolts back, <clears throat> uh, real, real important, you know, from a safety standpoint. Uh, you, as always, you don't want to ride around with the gun loaded, but all it takes is that. Now we're loaded. So it went from a zero danger to very danger. So now we got to be careful. With it. What we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to, I'm going to set this down right here, point it in a safe direction. But I, I found this, this, uh, this is kind of a test can from a long time ago of Backoff's new, great, and wonderful, super duper coffee caramel. It's been riding around in my truck <clears throat> uh, for a while, okay? And so let's see how it's, it's, how it's fared riding in the truck for months and months. Come on in here and we'll test it out. Okay, so a couple of things we want to realize. Number one, there's only two pouches left. Ha! which is a little embarrassing. I should have chewed the whole thing up. But you see all that little juicy. Remember I keep telling you all about juicy. And even though they look juicy, they're juicy in the can. Juicy equals flavor. Payow. There we go. But I'm going to sacrifice these last two pouches. And we're going to try to shoot it. But I might not hit it, so it really doesn't matter. We're here getting ready to shoot the tax off. And I thought, well, we're doing 22 stuff and we're doing critter getter. So here's another critter getter. Uh, this is my truck critter getter 22. It's a, uh, all right, I'm gonna show you something here. Man. You saw that right there? That's a problem. Okay. In fact, I'm a little aggravated at the moment because I carry this around in this holster in my truck and I pull it out and this beautiful gun has spots on it that I got to work on getting out something's wrong on this holster. But the real important part about a holster on, on a uh, semi-automatic is it should never ever do what it just did. And I bought this holster, okay? <clears throat> and you see it just, if, if you set it down, and it gets a gets a little uh, pressure on it, then it the clip falls out. Nothing's worse than see a critter running along. You jump out, you get ready to shoot, and your clips are laying on the ground. That's a bad day. So we got to do some work on that. But this is a Ruger Mark IV Hunter, okay, which super popular is based on the, the old original uh, geometry of a luger which means it just when you throw it up it's just perfect and <clears throat> it's really accurate there from a pistol standpoint and being as how i'm not very good with a pistol so you won't see me trying to hit something with a pistol because i probably won't hit it i need the most accurate thing i can get and this is kind of it, and I've customized the trigger, and it is cool, and it looks cool, and of course this is the new Mark IV, so rather than smoke, mirrors, and magic to take it down to clean it, they made this really, really simple, where you just click a button and it pops apart, and you can click it right back and clean it up good, which is fixing to get a good cleaning. I've, I had <clears throat> the Mark III, which I love too. But amazingly, it got stolen. Somebody broke into my truck and stole it when I was in a big city. That's why I stay on the farm. Kind of a hermit type guy. I stay on the compound. We're on the compound right now. That's why we're sitting in front of the office with guns out everywhere and shooting. We're fixing to shoot towards the office field, <clears throat> which y'all all have seen the office field with the office gun. Well, <clears throat> that's kind of, that's another part of the shooting range at the office. So what I'm doing is, and speaking of the office gun, let me show you 
the office pistol. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, I'm kind of a crazy lunatic, but it does make you think before you come slipping up here. So this one <clears throat> is a Ruger, I mean, not, sorry, <clears throat> a SIG P365SAS, okay, now, it's kind of a new gun, by the way, this is my little back pocket holster that I made custom just for this one, and if you notice, it does not pop the clip out. So we're going to have to work on that other one. It's a uh, 9 millimeter, okay, which is really cool because it's really small. But the difference in the SES and some of the other 365s is this little sight right here. Mm, the sight and the ports, okay. If you've never looked at the sight on the SES, you got to do it. Okay, because it's a fiber optic tritium tube deal. So when you throw it up, you see this bright green, and I chose green because the judges like green. You see this bright green, clean green dot and a circle around it. So it's like a peep sight, okay? And um, <clears throat> which is just so cool, you know? And, and everybody that looks at it goes, Golly, that is so cool. And you see these slots here, because they don't have a, uh, a sight on it, they can port this barrel. In other words, it's kind of a muzzle brake type deal. And I carry this little thing with me everywhere I go. It slips right in my little holster. It's covered the trigger so it's safe. I can pull it out. Ready for action. This is one, even though I have shot some critters with it, this is one you never ever want to have to use if you don't have to, other than shoot the targets and uh, the occasional random critter that you just happen to come about, uh, come about like an armadillo. If you ever see an armadillo, I don't care what anybody says, you need to get it. Okay, armadillos are the devil. The devil. They're not supposed to be in Alabama, but they come into Alabama now. And they dig holes everywhere. <clears throat> so, with that said, let's try shooting a little bit. And we're going to try a few crazy things, which won't work, but we're going to try. All right, let's, let's see if we can shoot the critter again. And we were just getting ready to go. And, of course, we got the, uh, the boat back here. I was like, okay, ready to go? You see that? Tax haul. Y'all better get your thing in gear. Because I just touched it and it loaded the shell. Which I guess you could say it was a speed thing. But I don't really like that, to tell you the truth. So we got our, got our back off caramel coffee, juicy can sitting out there. It's not very far. And I'm going to try to shoot off hand. Uh, and if I miss it, we're going to cut it, and I'm going to keep shooting. So, <laughs> you don't know if I get it or not. I would get this on the first shot from a TV standpoint. <laughs> we don't normally do that, but I don't normally shoot offhand. In fact, let me give you all a little tip. If you're shooting a rifle of any kind, you should always have a rest wherever possible. So, let's give it a little try. A little offhand shoot at a back off caramel, which is really hard to see actually. I guess we didn't make it for shooting purposes. Whoop. That was not TV. We got it. First shot. Now you notice I'm not wearing hearing protection. You don't really need it. These are subsonic bullets that I shoot. A little bit as uh, and uh, Mm. They're not loud, but I'm going to set it up and we're going to put some here in production on because I'm going to try it with the pistol. I, once I get shooting, I just can't stand it. i got to shoot some more. It's like those potato chips. One's not enough. you got to have another one. So let me set it up 
and we'll do a little pistol shot. Okay, let's try it. This one is highly doubtful. I'm going to wear some hearing protection because a 22 pistol, even with the same bullets, is still much louder. And being as I'm old, I don't want to damage my hearing at all, none. So let's give it a try. Let's just turn on. Uh, that's something. Okay. I'm going to get her to throw it up and we're going to see if we can hit it in the air. Yeah, the uh, caramel thing, it didn't survive the little pistol deal. Mm. So, I had to happen to have an old can of um, back off coffee wintergreen. It's also wonderful, wonderful, and I bet it's juicy if we look inside. Uh, it's got a few more cans, I mean a few more pouches in it because I'm... Um, I like the wintergreen, I like the caramel, maybe a little more. So, here we go. So here's what we're gonna do. Out in front of the office, by the deer field. Now I bet you she's rigged this. So I've got Belinda, I call her curls, because of her pretty curly hair. Uh, I bet you can't see her. But anyway, she's standing off to the side, out in front. And I'm gonna shoot. I got her. I'm gonna. We're gonna throw the can up right over her head, and I've got to shoot it before it gets down to her, or uh, uh, I might take her out. No, <laughs> I'm not that stupid, guys. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try this. This is not gonna work. Don't try this at home unless you're out in the middle of nowhere, because remember. Since we're shooting up a little bit, a 22 will go a long, long way. Now, it doesn't go as far as people think it does. Uh, and we've got probably a mile this way before there is anybody out here. And you'd be hard pressed to get this thing to go 500 yards, which is uh, out to the, to the woods where the deer field is. So let's give it a try. Uh, all right, curls, throw it up. There you go, boys. <laughs> Busted it right open. No. I did hit it, actually. Which is a miracle. I barely touched it. Barely, barely, barely. So it's still intact. Let's see if we can hit it again. Which, that's a miracle for me. Because I, I shoot things that steel and with a wrist. That way I always get what I'm shooting. All right, curls, do a good job. Nope, I was over it. Grab it again. This is curls. And so, curls is my assistant. <laughs> uh, pull it up a little bit harder. <laughs> Don't throw it over your head. <laughs> uh, girl, girl assistant. I mean, you know, Horrible. Just, Horrible. You throw like a girl, you know that. I know. <laughs> Man, we're going to get pull up. You got it. Well, that's going to be it for today. So, thank y'all. I've enjoyed it. Have a good day. Still didn't get it. Huh? You still didn't get it. I know. <laughs> <laughs>